57 Coachman Freedom Express lightweight trailer here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a new model and this is an awesome model. This is 10 pounds of sugar in a 5 pound sack. What's nice is you get all of the um, higher quality materials and, and build knowledge that you get with 50 years of experience down at Coachman all wrapped up into this uh, roughly 25 foot um, bunkhouse. Uh, a couple fun things we've done here, you see power tongue jack, that's going to uh, make it easier to level the trailer, you don't have to get tennis elbow leveling that. This does have the 20 pound tanks, the advantage here is you can swap those out anywhere, at a gas station or anything. To give us some power today I have a little like car jumper pack on here, but if you notice the battery rack is extremely long, you could put two batteries on there, maybe three if you were cute. The slick part about that is if you're going to do a lot of dry camping, you can have double the dry camp time or you'd have room to put a pair of 6 volt batteries on there. If you're not familiar with that, basically two 6 volt batteries have more reserve than um, one 12 volt battery. The, uh, I don't know how well this translates to video, but the side walls of the slide outs have a texture to them on these coachments as opposed to the real smooth skin that you see right here. Maybe the contrast might show up better. But long story short, you see how tight this seal is pulled? This rough texture pulls that seal. And if you look at a lot of other trailers in this class, you'll see a lot of times the seal stays like halfway tucked in and you don't worry about that with these coachments. It pulls the seal out, you get a better seal. And even look at little things like this, a little um, drip rail above the slide right here just to help keep water directed away from your slide seals. Things like that are the reasons uh, we have fewer problems with these Freedom Expresses and we have more reliability. Now this is, it's a 2015, yes, but it's better described as a 2015 and a half. And the easiest dead giveaway is this bullet front nose that you have on here. That's the instant indication that you have the newer style for 2015. It features a lot of things that were very popular from the 14 season in uh, some things like the 50th anniversary package all rolled together here. One of the areas these really shine is this front baggage compartment. It's absolutely huge. It's one of the very largest in the lightweight classes. This is also a good place to be able to show you how these are put together. You see how we have all welded aluminum construction? And you don't see chipboard and particle board. You see real wood down here, wood and aluminum. Now this resin table, this is part of one of the packages that we have included on this. This is 24 by, so two feet, two feet by four feet in English. And uh, this will give you a handy little outdoor picnic table built right into your trailer. Now, this is cool. LED rope lighting down here in your basement storage so you can actually see what you're doing down here. And when it's nighttime and it's not daytime, that light really makes a big, big difference. Um, another thing I like to point out is just the size of this baggage door. You can actually squeeze lawn chairs into there. A lot of these smaller baggage doors you see in most tra travel trailers, like you see that, that little one right there, you can't fit a, a, a chair in there. Um, looking underneath here, You'll be, uh, you know, pleased to know that we do have an enclosed underbelly here. Um, they do have a, a forced air measure there going on, and uh, you know that that'll help extend your camping season into the colder months. Take a look at your windows. Almost every window on a coachman opens 50%. About the only one that won't is just the window in the door, and I don't know many brands that have a uh, window that opens in the door. Notice you have another LED light strip under the awning here, and it's centrally located so that at night you can flip that on and you're gonna get indirect lighting. That, that light will hit the white side of the awning and cast a nice glow down on your patio here without blinding the neighbors and annoying the entire campgrounds. Um, the shiny aluminum wheels with a wide track suspension and basically that's going to help the uh, prevent the trailer from wiggling going down the road. And in case you notice, there is a little outdoor TV hookup out here if you are doing a little bit of tailgating. Speaking of which, coincidentally, we have an outdoor kitchen model. Uh, what's kind of cool is this whole kitchen slides in and out. So it gives you this big counter space. I currently have occupied with the, the Coleman uh, outdoor grill box. You can see right here, it's one of these high output grills. It, it feeds off those little propane bottles you can get at stores. Um, the uh, little, uh, I don't know, sponge drawer, whatever you want to call that silverware drawer there is always handy. But notice even outdoors, you have nicer countertops in these coachmans than you do in most trailers. This is still for mica topped, but it's seamless. There's no, uh, it's not T-molded. There's no seam where water can seep in there and get it swollen and soft. And if you've seen any of my videos, you know I'm a sucker for dad's uh, medicine cabinet out here. The uh, number one reason people are in and out of their trailer all the time is a drink on a hot day. Now you don't have to worry about it. Give you a quick view from the 
back angle here. I love the glow of that uh, light fixture on that awning. Now, this is one area I encourage you when you're comparing against other lightweight trailers, walk up to the rear wall and do this. On a Coachman, it's fully vacuum laminated. Most smooth skin trailers do not laminate the rear wall. Uh, it's it's a uh, maybe a potential structural flaw. There is some logic to the reason some manufacturers don't do that. I'm kind of a little biased toward having things that are solid that I can thump on that, you know, feel uh, solid and responsive in a way. Um, in case you're wondering, dry weight on this trailer, as it is equipped with these options, is 5,300 eight pounds. So uh, not, not too terribly heavy or anything like that. Let's sh shed some light in here. There we go. A little bit of light never hurt. I don't know offhand the name of this color scheme and I apologize for that. But long story short, the options, the color schemes you see in this video, they may differ slightly from the actual unit we have in stock. I record these videos for educational stock purpose, um, you know, and uh, I'm trying to tell you the, the advantages of this model in general. But always, always please compare the options list on the trailer you're looking to take home with the equipment that we have here for you because we do take the time to express every option we put into these. Your overhead cabinets in these are exceptionally large and that is one area where this thing beats the pants off of most lightweights is just the size and the depth of storage. Uh, I mean, you know how big this thing is, right? It goes clear up to that second hole. That's how big and deep this is. Pretty cool. They even open up little pockets up here above the refrigerator because this coach is taller than most lightweights. Most lightweight trailers are only 78 inches tall. This is 81, and while that does add a couple pounds, it adds a lot of storage, a lot of space in these bunks, and especially room in the shower. You actually have headroom in the shower here. Now this is something new for the uh, the 2015 and a half series is the uh, the little charging station here. You see, you have all these uh, all these sockets to charge all your smartphones and devices. You can feed your power cable down through here, leave your phone hanging down in here, and notice the location of this. This is right next to the entry door, right where you're going to sit with your patio chair. You can hear your phone ring, never miss a call, but keep it charging. And while you're down here, also take a minute to spot all the extra kitchen outlets that you can't see when you're walking around. Two there, two there. So you have more outlets in this Coachman kitchen. Um, again, it's worth mentioning the, uh, the better countertops you have in this Coachman because you not only see them around kitchen areas, but you also see them around the dinette. Um, speaking of which, huge storage under the dinette. Both benches have full storage. And so you don't have to tell everybody, okay, let me remove the table. Everyone get up off the table. They have these little access panels so you can get to your storage down there. Now you do have to take a knee to get to it, but it's a lot easier than disassembling half your dinette. And look at the huge windows on this. This window, 50% of that window opens. It's the biggest opening you can get in a window that size. It's awesome. Um, we generally will upgrade the air conditioner in these to a 15,000 BTU instead of a 13.5. That'll give you 50% more cooling power. Notice even back here by the, you have, first of all, I don't want to, you know, diminish this. You have two double bunks, not two single bunks. Both bunks have windows and you have uh, extra power outlets here for all the kids' toys. And in case you got a kid who needs a little bit of a night light, uh, if I can find the switch, there it is. You do have lighting down here for the kids. Or if you have a late night bookworm, maybe. Holy cow. Extra power outlet even right there. They're all over the place. Now this has a, a pretty nice bathroom as compared to other versions of this floor plan I've seen. And I think the biggest thing that makes it feel more open and airy to me is first of all, it's 81 inches tall. It is bigger. Secondly, you have both the power vent fan and a skylight over the shower instead of one or the other. And I'm 6'3". I'm a big guy. I've got long legs. Plenty of room in here. You can actually sit here. And actually, maybe while you're at the stool, you can shave at the same time. It's all about efficiency, I suppose. Um, moving forward here, a couple more things to talk about. Notice, mom and dad can close off the bedroom. So, mom and dad can have some privacy. And there are curtains for those bunks in case you missed it. Your stereo system right here is all in one. AM, FM, CD, DVD, and Bluetooth. So, take your phone I told you about. 
keep it right there. It can wirelessly hook to this stereo and you can play whatever music you want on your phone while it's charging. Never miss a beat. Um, 32 inch high def flat screen television with the little spinner design here so at night mom and dad can watch TV and then during the day family can watch TV. Now you don't necessarily have to lock it in place if you want to leave it on an angle like that so that you can watch it while you're sitting here eating breakfast it lines up perfectly. Um, real quick thing here I always like to point out a lot of people don't realize but you do have bedside stands on both sides of this bed again with more power outlets they have so many outlets in these Freedom Expresses so you do have storage hanging storage on both sides of the bed with a big overhead cabinet so you have additional storage up here a lot of lightweights are cheating now and they're only going to a shelf to save money and weight um, and Freedom Express is giving you a vent right here above the bed so open both windows beside the bed and you have plenty of fresh air rolling through there are so many more things to talk about on these I, uh, I regret that I'm kind of capped in how much time I can invest in each of these videos so give us a call learn even more or better still just come see us in person here in cold water you get a chance to see our shop find out you know what kind of people you're looking to spend a lot of money with it's a big purchase make sure you're doing it with the right people I mean if you look around we have uh, like 810 service bays we're adding service staff we have huge amounts of used inventory we have hundreds of new things in stock from different brands we are a place that can take care of you hitches parts service everything all in one place we make it very easy and god forbid a little bit of fun which is what this whole thing's supposed to be about so give us a call 800-256-5196 Haylet rv of coldwater michigan thank you everyone take care stay safe happy camping